Well, if you watch me regularly, you know that I'm attacked every day, electronic harassment, horrific, horrific, horrific. Anyways, I just want to remind all the people out there watching, and all the people out there that are doing this, I don't know. I've been talking to King Clancy. That's one of the personalities, phony bony personalities presented to me by, you know, the imposed virtual reality on me by the evildoers. Anyways, for a long time, I've been given to tell the evildoers over and over again, you know, this is horrible, bad karma, what you do, attacking people, innocent people, attacking them by remote control using your advanced technology. So much brain power went in to make an imposed virtual reality, and then you put it in the charge of evil people, and this is what happens. People who cherish ill logic. Cherish it using the most advanced logic circuits that man could ever develop. The most high-tech stuff from logical, rational brain creating torture by remote control. And then the fucking people that actually do it. Well, everybody who builds these kind of machines with their brains and everybody who operates these kind of machines and everybody that goes, <whistles> Bob's not under attack. Everyone is being, you know, judged karmically. Because there's a karmic reaction. When somebody says SOS, you know, you're supposed to call 911 right away and say, someone put out an SOS, save my soul, save our souls, it means. I did, I put it out for you fucking people. I want people to call the police, to call the military especially, because the police really don't have the ability to track down radio frequencies, do they? No, I wouldn't expect it, but you do expect the military to monitor. Do you not expect the military to monitor every frequency on the planet? Yes, and this they do. And this is frequency that's aimed at me, yes. So don't tell me blah, 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 blah. anyways. Tell me that you called your local military and you said there's a guy in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada who's attacked every day, all day long by electronic harassment. Will you take a complaint? Will you contact everybody in the military and see who it is that can go and search frequencies to see Bobby Burroughs in Thunder Bay, Canada? Is there somebody that's got some ability to go and narrow down who it is who's attacking me with all the triangulation? You're not, you can't figure out a frequency where it's coming from? Maybe you can't. As far as I'm concerned, you can. And the military's got the tech, and I can't help you out. Because why can't, I don't know. Do you know how hard it is to get a hold of the military? It's not like they've got a number in the book or anything. I don't know. It's very difficult. It's just not set up, you know, where civilians can call the military and say, hey, by the way, you know, there's a military attack on me. I don't know. Anyways, you people out there that refuse to get off your ass and say, hey, there's somebody that says SOS, and you see me video after video hijacked. If you won't get off your ass when somebody's saying SOS, I need help, then you motherfucker, I got bad karma from doing that. You have horrible karma. Anyways, so people with horrible karma, what happens to them? Well, if we throw away, you know, the Christian Bible about God destroying your soul, then you have got this other thing that you can't get away from, and it's the earth reincarnational cycle. And people with bad karma recycle again and again and again. People with horrible karma, you know, are going to be prey for carnivores over and over again. Because if you don't cut the mustard and you don't get your consciousness up on this yellow consciousness while you're here in a human body and being able to understand English and understand everything to do with what we know from the Buddhists about life on planet Earth. And if you won't take that information and see that, you know, you're due to drop dead and your next lifetime might depends on your karmic Miranda. But if you're, whatever you are, it's quite likely you're going to go back into the animal kingdom. And then if you go back to the animal kingdom, then it's kill and be killed. And that's what you're going to be. You're either going to be prey or, you know, predated on. You. Seriously, you. You stupid bastards. You stupid bitches. Because you're up drinking and watching football. Instead of getting your consciousness up. Because do you really want to have your next lifetime as a rat? I don't know in an urban location. You, a rat. 
and you're hungry and you come along and there's these little green pellets and you eat the little green pellets and no one tells you because you can't read English but there's a you know a box right there that says rat poison and you as a rat ate the rat poison and now you're gonna have the most horrendous death possible because rat poison was described by, I don't know I think it was Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King how horrific it is to die from rat poison horrific and it's gonna be you because once you're in that reincarnational cycle of the animals it'd be lifetime as a rat lifetime as I don't know I don't know you pick it you pick it it ain't gonna be you being human next time because you blew it your job as a human is to become an enlightened person Way up on the scale of human consciousness. That's your only job as a human being. Raise your consciousness. Why? Because you're in purgatory. David R. Hawkins of Consciousness Research did muscle testing and was given to tell us that this place that you're living in called Earth is a purgatorial realm. It is not a celestial realm. It's not a place where blessed people go. This is where, you know, you go and purgatory is a place where you're not fit for heaven. You're not fit. You are not fit because you're here. And this is purgatory. The only thing your job is to do here is to raise yourself on the scale of human consciousness up. You know, you've got to get up closer to Buddha who's at a thousand. On the scale of human consciousness, you know, the average person is at 225. Buddha's at a thousand. You've got a long way to go. And that's what your only job is on planet Earth because you're in purgatory. If you want to get off reincarnational cycles, you've got to get your consciousness way up. Do you want to have your next lifetime as a rat with you eating rat poison? Do you want to be an antelope? Having to go down to the water hole, Mr. Antelope, on multiple times a day because you're thirsty. And there's lots of predators hanging out the water hole waiting to eat you for lunch. You, as an antelope in your next lifetime, you experiencing the horror of knowing there's something in there that wants to eat you and is going to eat you sooner or later. And then you're going to reincarnate over and over again as an animal. Because you don't have enough consciousness to qualify for another lifetime as a human being. And as an animal, if you're an alligator and you eat a bunch of stuff, then you get even more horrible karma from a lifetime of being an alligator. And it's bad karma to be an alligator. Yes, the karma doesn't go away while you're in the... No! As an animal, if you're an alligator and you're predated for a whole lifetime, then that's even more bad karma for you. I don't know, over and over again, it just keeps pushing you around from bad, 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 to bad, bad, bad. So I don't know, then you have some lifetimes where you can balance out your karma as being an alligator when you're going to be more... Uh, Alligator food. More lifetimes is antelopes. Antelope, lifetime, alligator. Antelope, alligator. Antelope, alligator. You, in this little cycle. Food, I gotta eat. Food, I gotta eat. I don't know how many times you want to be in the reincarnational cycle of being an antelope and being an alligator. Lifetime, 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 lifetime. I don't know how you're going to get off that problem. Because you as a human being can see that that could happen. You can use your noggin and see that this is what it is. Fully described and fully understandable. And it's your future life if you don't raise your consciousness on the scale of human consciousness. You, as an antelope being eaten by alligator over and over and over again. You. 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 I don't know how it can be any clearer than this. The most horrendous future timeline for you is being an antelope, isn't it? Isn't that the most scary thing over and over and over and over again, going to the water hole where the alligator is? Over and over again, and then after that lifetime, after you got, you know, eaten, then it's over and over again. And you as a human can see it, but you as an antelope can't get off that wheel of karma. 
you as an alligator, you can't get off the wheel of karma. The only chance you ever have, according to the Buddha, is when you have a human lifetime. And you've got a smart enough brain to understand and penetrate everything to do with reincarnation. Everything. It's only when you're in a human form that you can understand these things, if you put your mind to it. Because don't you want to know, you know, you plan for, I don't know, next winter we're going to Jamaica, and the winter after that we're going to Hawaii. You plan your future, but you are not planning your long-term future. And your long-term future, and when you're at 225, is you just ain't going to get another human lifetime. So you blew it. I don't know where the deer and the antelope play. This is just the way it is. And if you're too fucking stupid to take it seriously, then, you know, I'm going to be there, you know, because I am. I'm going to be there, not as an alligator, not as an antelope. I'm going to be there because I'm going to watch as you, who used to be human, get eaten by an alligator. And I'm going to go. What a stupid, stupid, stupid asshole you are.